Number 7, 1957 Rosewood Time with Four Bands, graded as MS67 FB by PCGS. According to coin facts of given coin grading service, the 1957P Rosewood Time is really common. It has the largest vintage from 1947 to 1958. Over 160 million examples were struck and just about anyone can buy one very inexpensively and close to the spot price of silver. Without full bands, it's very common up to MS66 condition and it begins to be scarce in MS67 grade and higher. With a full bands designation, it is scarce in any condition. In MS67, with full bands, it's very hard to obtain and it looks like a very undervalued coin since very few have been found in this condition or higher. This MS67 specimen ended up selling for $504. Number 6, 1971 Canadian Elf Dollar, graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to NGC price guide, as of January 2024, a Kennedy half dollar from 1971 in circulated condition is worth between 60 cents and 75 cents. However, on the open market, 1971 half dollar in pristine uncirculated condition sell for as much as $2,050. This MS67 graded superb gem fetched a sum of $1,200 at auction. Number 5. Attractively toned 1942 Jefferson Nickel Type 1, graded as PR68 Plus by NGC and further approved by CAC. According to Stax Powers, this silky smooth example shimmers with delightful satin to modestly reflective finish and displays a veritable sunset of color at the peripheries easing into the centers on both sides. According to Jaime Hernandez, in 1942 the US Mint struck two different proof Jefferson nickels. It struck the Type 1 clad version and it also struck Type 2 silver version. The Type 1 does not have a P mint mark while the Type 2 silver does have a P mint mark. The 1942 Type 1 proof Jefferson nickel can be easily obtained up to about PR66 condition. In PR67 they are scarcer, then in PR68 or higher they are very scarce to rare. This one was sold for $3,600. Number 4, 1925 D. Lincoln Cent, graded in Mint State 65 Plus Red by PCGS. The 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent is often called the King of Lincoln Cents. However, despite being abundant and lower grade, the 1925 D is scarcer in full red gem. Most Mint State examples either have mushy strikes, browning or spots, making this piece, which features none of those drawbacks, a remarkable survivor, with brilliant rose-red surfaces and an exceptional strike for this usually weak issue. It is a super attractive coin and it ended up selling for $7,200. Number 3, 1939 Jefferson Nickel with double die reverse, graded as MS66 FS by PCGS. A superior example of this popular double die reverse variety that will do justice to an advanced Jefferson Nickel set. Rusty surface is present as brilliant at most viewing angles, although direct lightning reveals subtle pastel shadings of gold, powder blue, and pink. The strike is exceptionally well executed with full detail that even extends to the steps, portico, and the roof of Monticello. The prominent doubling to the words Monticello and denomination 5 cents confirms FS801 attribution for this 1939 nickel. This specimen was sold for $6,900. Nineteen fifty five Lincoln Cent was double die obverse, graded in mean state sixty four red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this coin displays exceptional preservation and eye appeal for this perennially popular Lincoln Cent variety. Drenched in vivid pinkish rose color, both sides also sport lively mint luster in satin to softly frosted texture. The strike is sharp to full throughout the design, the surface is knocking on the door of even higher numeric grade. It is estimated that about 3,000 to 4,000 1955 double die verse cents exist. All pieces have reverse die misalignment about 5% counterclockwise from the normal 1980 degree rotation, a feature evident on present example. 
it was sold for $22,200. Number 1. 1916 D Mercury Dime Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS, the 1916 D Mercury Dime stands as cornerstone of the series, boasting an impressively low production of 264,000 coins. Following at a considerable distance, the 1921P and 1921D releases each account for slightly over 1 million pieces. Although generally well struck, the 1916 D exhibits an atypical great distribution with many specimens falling within the fair or almost good to very good range, while occasional fine coins surfaces. Among collectors, the 1916D in uncirculated grades hold particular allure. This specimen was sold for $28,800. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. God's willing, see you in the next episode.